Hi there. I wanted to do a quick video um, uh, to just share some information about marine collagen. I understand that there's a video out there from a content creator who talks about marine collagen and some issues with that. And I just wanted to clarify uh, our point of view. I think it's very important that we all share our information so the knowledge out there is is uh, increases so we all have an understanding of these things and specifically specifically speci <laughs> sorry specifically about some of the points she raised the, i think the key one was um a neuro neurotoxins and the neurotoxin that was mentioned that uh, you can hear you hear about this in parkinson's and alzheimer's this particular toxin it's a B, uh, it's BMAA, a beta analine, sorry, no, it's a beta methyl um, amino alanine. It's a, it's, a, it's a natural compound produced by uh, cyanobacteria, certain uh, algae. So you find it on, in the sea, you find it on land as well. In the sea, normally these, uh, uh, these microorganisms are consumed by shellfish and oysters, filtering uh, crustaceans who filter ocean water and and uh, feed on on this algae you don't tend to find this uh the, this in fish because fish don't consume uh, uh don't uh, use these as, as sources of food you can find it in shark because they are the top of the chip food chain but the uh, fish that we source our marine collagen is um, cod haddock pollock uh, we don't use about in salmon as well you don't find these uh, compounds because it's not the food source. We test, uh, we test for everything. We test uh, about a hundred different data points for our marine collagen and uh, um, just to make sure that every, uh, every batch that we produce is of the highest purity. The, uh, another point that was raised was about sourcing, about uh, I think she mentioned dolphins, um, dolphins, turtles, and uh, other marine life. Uh, uh, but that is a simple misunderstanding. We actually source our fish from food factories, uh, from the fish filtering industry. So we source it from specific species of fish. In our case, cod, haddock, and pollock. So we take the fish skin that is a byproduct of the fish filtering. And we take use that to create a marine collagen. So there's no chance of there being any crustaceans or or dolphins on that or, or other um, other marine life because we specifically select certain fish uh, from the food industry. Um, and what we do is we audit the food factories. So uh, all the fish is from line caught fish, not uh, not those drag nets. Um, is from sustainable sources, is from uh, sustainable quota, uh, quotas and our and those factories and our auditing is done by independent third parties so we have complete uh, visibility of all our supply chain. Um, the third thing that was mentioned was sewage in, in, in the oceans and yeah, that is an issue um, but again you tend to find that uh, along coastlines where there's human habitat we source our fish from um, the Canadian Arctic. So there's no human hab habitats there. There's no uh, issues of um, sewage contamination. So again, it's not really uh, an issue for marine collagen, the way we source it. Uh, the, the other key point was microplastics. Again, it's a very important thing. Um, microplastics tend to be consumed by, by sea life and you find the microplastic deposits in the digestive system or the gills of, of fish. We use the fish skin, uh, not the other parts of the fish. Well, one of the reasons we don't use the, the fish bladder, fish gut, uh, fish gills for marine collagen, we only specifically use the fish skin. Because it has the highest quality of um, uh, marine uh, collagen, but also it, it's a pure source as well. So, and it's free of microplastics. Microplastics is actually a really big issue, but you tend to find that more in uh, in things that we consume normally, like um, the lining of a coffee cup, for example, the, the things you can get on the high street. They have plastic linings, uh, and when you put boiling water in them, it releases a lot of microplastics. So uh, it's the food, the processed food that we consume that you have to be really careful about with microplastics. I think the final point 
uh, I'd like to say is we um, we are collagen manufacturers. We uh, manufacture our products, so we understand the whole chain of where we get our uh, collagen from. There is marine collagen in the British market, which is from um, farm factory farm fish, and that you have to be very careful about. Factory farm fish is grown on land in tanks. Um, they there tend to be a lot of overcrowding in these tanks, and so this it could be rife with disease. A lot of antibiotics are used there, growth hormones are used there. So when you're looking for marine collagen, if you look at the label of the product, it will say marine collagen, but always use a, a wild version, not um, and understand what the provenance is. What I say is, uh, we're all here to increase the knowledge of. Uh, of everyone out there and we all try and contribute the best we can. I'm sure this content creator meant the best as well but we have to be very careful about the things we say. We have to be very careful and uh, just so we don't cause any concern, any unnecessary worry. And the final thing I say on this is, um, I'm so sorry for the long post, what I say is um, do your research, do your independent research. Just because I say it or someone else says, uh, says something, you have to understand these things and do your own research. Look at the label, look at the ingredients, look at the source. There are good products out there and there's some not so good products out there. Uh, do some independent research. It's so important. Uh, I hope that helps. Uh, any questions, just email us, uh, contact us. We're happy to help. Um, thank you. Take care.